What's up, everybody? And Sima Iyang from the Super Training Gym here with another episode of Mas Fuerte en Cinco Minutos. That is stronger in five minutes in Espanol. Now, we're not going to start the timer yet because I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to talk to you guys about. Now, we had Dr. Stuart McGill on the podcast recently, okay? It was an amazing podcast. There was a lot of things that we did physically that you can't really doesn't translate to the audio side, so you need to go to YouTube to watch this podcast because what I'm about to talk to you about right now, Dr. McGill went on for about 30 minutes and there is no way in hell I'm gonna be able to condense this idea into five minutes. But I'm gonna give you two of my big takeaways from what he spoke about. Now, I haven't spoke about what he spoke about. I haven't even given you the name, but what it is is the density of neural drive. It sounds complex, right? Well, guess what? It's complex. It's really complex, which is why I told you I'm not going to be able to like distill this into five minutes, but I'm going to give you my two big points about it. Let's start the timer now. Going, 459, 458. Density of neural drive, okay? Dr. McGill gave us a really, really cool example from one of the goats of powerlifting. If you think you know who I'm talking about, you probably do, Mr. Ed Cohn. Now, Ed Cohn was known for, number one, being the goat. He did things back then that was so far ahead of the competition that it makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely no sense. But one of the really cool things that we learned here from Ed Cohn is number one, he never missed a lift in training. I want you to think about that. For the amount of time he was training in powerlifting, he never missed a lift. Maybe he missed one or two, but he never missed any lifts throughout all of his training cycles. The only times he brushed up upon death <laughs> was in his meets, and his meet performance was phenomenal, right? But the reason why this is so important is because this is one of the aspects of building that density of neural drive, or what Dr. McGill kind of says, the ability to be able to tap into uh, something extra to allow you to do insane feats of strength. He used the example of, and you've heard this one before, the woman having to pull her children underneath of a, a car, right? And she might pull something in her back and maybe her something in her arm goes out, but because there is a deathly situation right there, she's able to do something insane to save her kids. Well, this is what a lot of elite athletes actually do when they hit these insane PRs. If you go watch Olympic lifting highlights of some of the greatest lifts, or you go watch some of the, bit, the, the most insane lifts in powerlifting, you'll see a lot of this. And the big aspect of that is number one, in training, don't fail. Because if you don't fail, every lift is replicatable. I don't know where I am in time now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna beat five minutes, but this is a big aspect of it, okay? In training, you're not supposed to fail your lifts. You're supposed to get close, but you're not supposed to fail. But the second thing is that you need to make every single lift replicatable. Meaning, whenever you step up to the barbell, if you're doing something different each time, let's say that you're going for a deadlift. On one of your deadlifts, you go up to the bar, you grab the bar, you pump your hips twice or three times, and then you lift. Okay. Let's then see on another lift, you go up to the barbell, you set up your hands, and you come here. It's not replicatable. You don't have a ritual, and that's gonna be something that blocks you from being able to tap into greatness. Okay, it has to be something that is a ritual that you can do every single time that allow you to not think before you execute the lift. That is super important, and that leads me into part two. This is something that you can't understand. Stu McGill said that you need to be able to kill a man. Did you get that reference? Cypress Hill. There is something you can't understand. I want to just kill a man. I, I, okay, if you didn't, then it's, it's all good. But Mr. Er, Dr. McGill said that a lot, when, when people get into the state, they're in a state of being able to kill a man. I think one of the best examples of this was Eddie Hall when he pulled 1,100 pounds. He was on the podcast too and he talked about how he literally went to a psychiatrist to help him get into a state where he had to picture something bad happening to his children before the lift so he could get 1,100 pounds off the ground. Mind you, Eddie didn't lift anything above 1,040 before he pulled 1,100, so he had to imagine that, right? That's one aspect of it. But then there's another aspect of being able to get into this zone, and it's what I like to call the psychopath, okay? Now, for me, the anger thing never really worked, personally. I was never able to really get angry and do a lift because it'd just be too erratic. So I just did my best and got rid of my emotions. And, and <laughs> this is a more Russian thing, Dr. McGill said. What you want to do is you want to get into a state where you feel nothing, where you see nothing, and you envision nothing. And you're in a state where you don't feel any emotion. 
when I was able to do this, uh, lifts were just going based off of pure skill. Um, and when I do jujitsu, when I don't think, and my face is like emotionless, some people tell me I look like I'm asleep. That's what we're talking about here. You don't have any emotion and you can go up and do the things that you were replicating, which is why you need to make all your lists replicatable. You can do the things you've done in trading without thinking, okay? These are just two of the small aspects of density of neural drive, guys. Two, I can't do this in five minutes and I already know it. All of this, all of this, what I'm trying to do here is to lead you towards that podcast. Uh, where are we at right now in terms of time? Uh, you probably just hit about five. Whoa! Let's go! All right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about here because if you keep listening to me, you're not gonna get much more. You gotta go listen to Dr. McGill on that podcast. This is Nsima Iyang from the Super Training Gym and Mark Bell's Power Project and BreakTheBar.com and all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later.